every 20 minutes. It's your statewide Alabama weathercast. It's a Tuesday evening Alabama update. I love the new SkyCam network with the Alabama Weather Network. Check it out. Alabama's highest mountain. This is Chihaw State Park. The elevation there, 2,407 feet above sea level. Check out the field of cumulus clouds. We do have a little rain over parts of East Alabama this afternoon, but many spots have been rain free. Let's go to the western side of the state. This is a live look at the campus of the University of Alabama, the Walk of Champions from the north end zone at Bryant-Denny Stadium. They've got 95 degrees there. And down south, let's check one of our new sky cams on Mobile Bay at Point Clear, the Grand Hotel. Beautiful evening there. They're sitting at 90 degrees, some spots in the mid to upper 90s over West Alabama earlier today. But again, it's pretty quiet. We have this ridge in place and that warm air aloft tends to cap off any showers. And accordingly, showers have been really few and far between. The bulk of them over here on the eastern side of the state today, parts of Cleburne and Randolph counties. But you can see the showers are generally small, long, not long lived at all, and most locations were dry. Look at Florence. They reached the upper 90s today, mostly low and mid 90s elsewhere. Uh, heat levels will gradually be coming down for the rest of this week. By the time we get to the weekend, highs will likely be in the 80s. And as the heat levels gradually come down, we'll see a slow increase in the number of scattered showers and thunderstorms. And looky here, there's a chance we see an air mass change early next week. Nights noticeably cooler, humidity values noticeably lower by Monday and Tuesday. And that's a win anytime we get that here in August. We'll take a look at modeling. Now, tomorrow morning, remember, all models are wrong. Some are useful. So the radar will not look exactly like this. But there might be. There might be a couple of isolated showers over the eastern side of the state tomorrow morning. During the day, the bulk of the showers come between noon and midnight. Not raining everywhere, but most spots have a decent chance of catching a downpour. That's 8 o'clock tomorrow night, and then by midnight, they're all gone. Pretty much the same situation on Thursday. This is Thursday morning at 6 o'clock. We're dry. After 12 noon, more showers and storms forming, and again, that'll be the pattern for Friday and Saturday. We'll have scattered to numerous showers and storms as the weekend begins, but still not a total washout. We're watching air and been uh, having a hard time today. Some drier air coming in on the western side. A bit of shearing going on here, so winds have decreased. Wind velocities down to 105 miles per hour, but keep in mind the wind field is expanding. Uh, the system moving north-northwest at 10, right on track, staying well east of the Bahamas. No change in the forecast thinking. Bermuda is here. The Outer Banks here. This is passes between the Outer Banks and Bermuda on Thursday with winds of roughly 110 miles an hour. And because of the expansive wind envelope, this will likely bring some huge waves and dangerous rip currents to the east coast of the United States. And then by the weekend, this thing gets in the mid-latitude westerlies. It flies out to the North Atlantic, becoming post-tropical. No issues there. Now, the wave behind Aaron has a 60% chance of becoming a depression or storm. The good news, if that happens, all models turn this thing north well before reaching the United States with a big trough, the same trough that will likely bring lower humidity and cooler nights to Alabama early next week. Seven-day forecast, first off for North Alabama, showers and storms around each day through Saturday and Sunday. Most of them, not all, from noon to midnight. And look at the heat levels dropping, highs mid to upper 80s by Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday and Tuesday, there's that breath of fresh air. Humidity values down, nights cooler, lows getting down in the middle 60s. Pretty much the same idea for the southern half of the state. We'll be in the mid-90s tomorrow. Again, showers and storms around, most active Friday, Saturday. Dry air reaching South Alabama by Tuesday of next week with humidity values lower and even in South Alabama, lows could be in the 60s by the middle part of next week. That's an Alabama forecast update on the Alabama Weather Network.